Episode 54G One comment, in the form of a resolution, to White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council, WEJAC, public meeting, March 1, 2023, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Resolution Against Residential Wood Burning in Wisconsin Whereas United States scientists have repeatedly reported that wood burning is not carbon neutral and is not net zero, but instead emits more particulates than coal burning, for instance. Whereas residential heat generated by solar, wind, and innovative heat pumps that can work at the low temperatures found in Wisconsin during the winter produces negligible particulate matter. Whereas residential wood burning and even eco-design, United Kingdom, UK, certified, comparable or less polluting than United States, US, certified wood stoves, wood stoves produce at least 450 times the polluting particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, PM2.5, compared to residential natural gas furnaces, as shown by resident-owned, PM2.5, monitors of near neighbors of residential wood burners. Whereas wood smoke is 90% PM2.5 and PM2.5 is the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, producing a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. Whereas if new U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, limits of PM2.5 to 8 micrograms per meter cubed annually and 25 micrograms per meter cubed daily are enacted in 2023, the PM2.5 polluting effects of residential wood stove use will be even more apparent. Whereas the European Union, EU, in 2022, stopped most subsidies for wood burning. Whereas the UK in 2023, after 8% of residents burning wood produced more PM2.5 in London and other UK areas than traffic, prompting the UK Prime Minister to begin regulations of new and refurbished homes in London that effectively regulate wood stoves out of residential use, and a conversation and movement to regulate PM2.5 from residential wood burning is taking place across the UK in 2023. Whereas 2022 wildfires dramatically demonstrated to the world the harmful effects to human health of wood smoke, and numerous research papers for many years and up to the present demonstrate harmful effects of wood smoke PM2.5 on lungs, heart, and brain, producing early death in many cases. Whereas reducing air pollution and concurrently slowing climate change is popular across the political spectrum, Result that the 2023 Wisconsin Conservation Congress should encourage citizen scientist residents to purchase PM2.5 air quality monitors to monitor and so reduce residential wood burning for heat, which produces excessive but hyper-localized PM2.5 which affects the health of near neighbors within the state of Wisconsin. Result that this citizen scientist data of PM2.5 harm should be used to enforce local ordinances or other laws across Wisconsin to shut down polluting residential wood burning for health reasons. Since the PM2.5 data is available online, on the Purple Air website, to the general public and to government officials 24-7, weekend and overnight readings from yards of near neighbors can be downloaded by the government during normal working hours with no need to enter residences in order to shut down residential wood burning. Residential wood burners are often more affluent than their near neighbors who bear the brunt of PM2.5 pollution health effects from wood burning. White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council, WEJAC, public meeting, March 1, 2023. The White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council, WEJAC, will hold a virtual public meeting March 1, 2023, from approximately 3 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This free meeting is open to all members of the public. Individual registration is required and is available through the scheduled end time of the meeting day. Register for the WeJack virtual public meeting here. Priority to speak during the meeting will be given to public commenters with comments relevant to current wedge charges. Every effort will be made to hear from as many registered public commenters during the time specified on the agenda. The WEJAC is seeking comments relevant to Climate and Economic Justice Screening Tool 
Environmental Justice Scorecard Indigenous Peoples and Tribal Nations Climate Planning Preparedness, Response, Recovery, or Impacts Question, what are the core elements of a multi-agency strategy apart from carbon capture, usage, and storage that can address potential use of carbon management while protecting communities? Question, adverse health impacts from a changing climate disproportionately affects disadvantaged communities. What are the policies or programs that can address adverse health impacts before, during, and after extreme climate events? Question, tribal communities are disproportionately impacted by the ecosystem collapse caused by climate change that is destroying subsistence hunting, fishing, and growing traditional foods. How can the policies or programs of the federal government prevent and address these impacts? Submitting written comments for the record are strongly encouraged. Written comments can be submitted through March 29, 2023. The public can submit written comments in the following three ways. Entering comments in the docket ID no. EPA HQ OJACKER 2023-099 at http colon slash slash www.regulations.gov when it opens. Using the web format. Sending comments via email to wejack at epa.gov for comments with additional materials. The meeting agenda and other meeting support materials, including the public comments, will be posted in the public docket EPA HQ OJACKER 2023-0099 as they become available at http colon slash slash www.regulations.gov. To learn more about the WeJack and the public meeting, please visit. For questions about this event, please contact Karen L. Martin at wejack at epa.gov or by phone 202-564-0203. For up-to-date information about environmental justice funding opportunities, events, and webinars, subscribe to EPA's Environmental Justice Listserv by sending a blank email to join-epa-ej at lists.epa.gov. Follow us on Twitter at EPAENVJustice. Para recibir información, actualizada sobre oportunidades de financiamiento de justicia ambiental, eventos y seminarios web, suspirbase el list serve de justicia ambiental de la EPA enviando un mensaje en blanco de correo electrónico a join-epa-ej at lists.epa.gov. Siganos en Twitter at EPA Justice.